My name is Raximilius, and this is my good friend Twister. And is there anything better than a brand new sown field? Look at this soybean field. Ah, it is just so gorgeous, velvety, and amazing. I got the soybeans in between the episodes. What else did I do? Soybeans, look at this. Growth. 100%. Yield bonus, 100% fertilized. It's Looking great. Between the episodes, I got a couple red bead contracts done. I got some, uh, I got some fertilizing contracts done, and I got oh, what else did I do? Oh, I got the the baling contracts done. The baling, we got three contracts that just kind of cycle through. I got those done between episodes as well. That soybean field is all planted up. I did it on my own because I did it because. Uh, we're going to be doing some planting in this other field over here. So I just wanted to get that done. We don't need to <laughs> show the planting of three fields. We are going to show the planting of a field. We got a brand new field over here. It's got the sugar beets in it. Let me head over there and we'll take a look. There it is. Our beautiful sugar beet field that we had just purchased. Uh, last episode, I think it was last episode, we uh, cut up all the grass over there to make into silage at some point. But now we got this weedy sugar beet mess. We're not going to harvest up the sugar beets. I'm going to cultivate them in. We got these stones we got to get rid of today. I like to work the first the field the first time we buy it together. We got to do this together. This field has to be planted today as well. That's We can't harvest that. There's no way. There's no way there's another mowing on that. Let's see. Uh, turn the grass on. Uh, uh, growth. Uh, yeah, it's growing. Um, but we need to get, we need to get sorghum in. So we're going to put sorghum in this field. Still debating. We're going to do it this episode, but I'm debating what to put in here. I kind of want to do sorghum and that way we're all set for sorghum for a long time. And the big field over there that has barley in it is going to be sorghum as well next year. So that's going to be a ton of it. That's why I'm kind of thinking maybe I'll do corn just for something different because the piggies, which we're going to check on later, the piggies we'll get to today. Uh, they, uh, they, their main base food can be corn or sorghum. So maybe we'll just do corn in this just for something different. I think that might be the decision. We might do it uh, just for something different. But the first thing we need to do, let's get this all mulched up. I, uh, let's just teleport to the tractor. There we go. Um, so the soybean field over there, we had that layer of grass in the soybean as the experiment. And I mulched the grass in because I was like, well, I, I can't get the mulching bonus back if I don't mulch, and I'll just fertilize on top of that. So that was my plan over there, and it worked out really well. And it kept a one layer of fertilizer anyway. So I'm gonna mulch this grass here, and we should, let's take a look. We should still have a layer of fertilizer in here. Yeah, see, it doesn't get rid of one layer of fertilizer, so that is perfect. So I'm gonna mulch this grass up, and then that way this state of this field is going to be basically the same state as that field. We're going to, I think the next thing is just a direct drill the sorghum into this one and we'll plant. Oh, the, I got to probably cultivate that before I can plant corn. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Let's try mulching the, see if we can get the mulching bonus for the sugar beet because I can always put more fertilizer on. I can put a second layer of fertilizer on if I can get the mulching bonus. That's not something I can do once we cultivate those sugar beets in. Let's go see, let's go bring this mulcher right over here and mulch this little corner and see if it gives us a mulching bonus. Let's see, here we go. I don't wanna go too far cause I don't wanna mess. I think it will, I think it will. Let's see, let's see here, mulched, mulched. Oh, look at all these different colors. <laughs> I think it does have that there, doesn't it? Let's do a little bit more so we can see better. I think I saw some of the mulched color in there. This is gonna be I think the best option is I can always put more fertilizer out there. <laughs> Am I doing this the best? Yep. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's just mulch this up because I can't get the mulching bonus once this is cultivated. So let's just, let's take that mulching bonus for the maximum yield. We're going maximum yield. Is this a cringe fest? Like, 
Am I... Am I making you guys cringe by doing this? Sugar beets, I mean, they're worth some money, but I don't want to rent the, like, lease a harvester for it. And all that stuff. Ah, I feel like I might be going into cringe territory. And if that's the case, I apologize. But this is just kind of the way I like to work the farm. Where I don't, I don't want to lease a sugar beet harvester. And then we don't have a crop that we can really use in this field this year. And I, uh, am I doing the right thing? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If this is really cringy, let me know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I apologize if this is really bad for you, but look at this. Look at this. Okay. So we're getting the, we got the mulched. Perfect. Let's turn that off. We need a little roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Line, ooh. Hopefully we don't need that. No, I don't think we do. Uh, Look at, look at, this is double fertilized still. The, I'm, so I'm getting the mulched and I'm getting double fertilized still. I got to pull these rocks up. I got to figure out how I'm going to see all of them in this uh, mulched texture. <laughs> that's fine though. That's fine. Oh, this is going to work out great. It's not cringy at all. It's not cringy at all. Just mulching in perfectly good sugar beet crop. That's expensive equipment to plant. No, no. <laughs> I also wanted to bring you in quick because let's get this thing turned around. Let's get this tractor turned around, then I'll do it. There we go. 360 heading. We got a long ways to go. Doing both fields at the same time. Working out perfect. Working out perfect. Uh, money, you can see this is more random thought. Money, 25000 from all those contracts. So you may say, well, look at that. We got enough for our slurry distributor. Uh, yeah, we got 10 to play out, pay off. So let's repay our loan. There we go. That's where we're at. 15,000. That's the accurate number. I like to pay off the loan together so you can kind of see financially where we're at. Um, yeah, we had to take out the loan to buy the field. So now the loan is paid off and we have the field and just 10,000 more dollars. We'll have enough money for that slurry distributor. And like I said, we'll check the we'll check the pigs. Wow. How did my line get off by so much? That's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll check the, the pig slurry and manure and all that when we're done getting these fields all prepped up. The last swipe of the mulching has begun. The sugar beets will have been wiped away forever. We're going to, we're not forever. We're going to do sugar beets at some point. That's going to be fun. I can't wait to get into sugar beets. More productions, more sugar beets, more everything. I want all the productions everywhere. Speaking of which... Uh, that piano, you know what? We might take a quick side break uh, from field work just for a second. Because uh, I said I wanted to get that piano manufacturer, and to be honest, I we might not be able to get it. Is that an actual production thing, or is that just like a looks thing? Because I, I, I want to do wood uh, forestry. I talked about it earlier. I don't want to be a, uh, like an economic engine. Basically, the way I want to look at forestry is I want it to be like a hobby. Like a... a it's like a hobby farm, a hobby part of our farm. Uh, so we're not going to go full on forestry. I do want to do some, but I want to go check out that uh, the piano manufacturer. It's just going to be a quick side tour because we got the next step on this field is, ah, it's all done. This looks so much better. Those weeds look so nasty. They did a great job with the graphics on those weeds. I can't stand them. I don't like them. Next, we're going to get the, let's get these rocks up next, but let's go, let's go check out that piano man let's grab a horse i'm just gonna grab a horse and we're gonna ride over to that piano manufacturer and see if that's something that we can even buy champion wanted to go for a ride so here we go right past Rye creek manor i think it's that yellow building right over there sorry to break up the the field work a little bit i just <laughs> a whole episode of just going straight field work let's break it up a little bit what do you think what do you think let's go see this uh, this is uh, not anywhere in the near future buying this i was just curious i keep thinking about it and I keep forgetting to check to see if we can buy it. I think we can because look at that. We got a symbol there for dropping stuff off. I bet we can. I bet we can. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I I don't think you can place one. 140000 Great. You can't place one. Like when you go into the construction menu, constru uh, right here, production. I couldn't find it in here. We're not going to go through the whole thing. I couldn't find it in here. So... I don't know. I could look it up on the internet. I suppose I could look it up on the internet, but I don't know what else you need other than wood for a piano. What else do you need? Do you need metal from like the ironworks? Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, let's 
<laughs> side sidetrack over. Let's go pick up some stones. Here we are again, picking up stones, and I'm just gonna hope that I can get them up. I was gonna fertilize and it was gonna change the texture so I could see these stones better, but it's our it's double fertilized, so we don't I I can't I don't wanna fertilize it again just to change the texture. Alright. Uh let's turn this on. Don't let me down, stones. Let me pick you up. Pretty please. I want this field cleaned up. Oh no. No! No! Alright, what? What is the trigger for this? What is the trigger? Why can I not pick up these stones? Oh, this bums me out so bad. I hate seeing these stones on the field. Now I gotta look at these. Uh, I gotta look at these things for a year. Oh, this bums me out. Do I need to? I'm gonna cultivate it. It's worth it for me. Even though it's an extra step that I don't need to do, I'm gonna cultivate it because I think that that's gonna get the stones up. Let's go get the cultivator. So if I cultivate it now, am I gonna lose? Am I gonna lose one of the one of the fertilizations? <laughs> what a mess this has become! Just because I don't want to look at stones. I just don't want to look at them. Let's let's do just a little part here. We're gonna go uh, this way. I think this is gonna work for the stones. I hope. Plus now I can see them better. That's nice. That part's good. Cultivate it up right here. All right. Oh, good. I did not lose the fertilization. That's good. Let's go grab the stone picker and see if I can get these stones right here up. If I can, then we're good. Then I'm happy and pleased. I'll put in the extra work. A little bit of more maintenance on the tractors just to get these stones up. I can't stand those things. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Yes! Yes. Here we go. Here we go, all right. I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna cultivate this field and then I'm gonna stone pick it and then life will be good. And this will be a clear field, and I will be so happy. I will be so happy. All right. We'll see you on the backside of this stuff. Round and round we go. <laughs> Picking up stones. Ah, everybody's favorite thing to do on Farming Simulator. I <laughs> A bigger stone picker would be amazing, but you know what? That's pretty low priority. I, I guess I didn't realize... When I first started the game and did some stone picking, and I don't like turning the stones off. As everybody knows, I like to have all the settings on crops destruction, stone picking, all that. I like to do it all. I like to do it. I like to destroy crops. Huh? Um, you know, once you get this initial, once you buy the field and get this initial setup of stones off, it really, they don't come back. Like, we saw a couple episodes ago in the big field that the small stones were there, but those just get rolled in, so it's not a huge deal. So it's just more of a, once you get the new field, take the time, pick up the stones, and that's it. It's really not a huge deal. So here we are, here we are, stone picking. I did want to bring you in too, because I wanted to talk about, I, I've watched, I started watching Clarkson's Farm can't believe it's taken this long for me to get to that show. I heard about it from a co-worker maybe a month or two ago and I was yeah, alright, yeah, whatever, whatever, but I like it. I think it's great because I like to see the actual machinery in use and I, it's obviously it's funny and brings up a lot of issues with farming that farmers have and things like that, which is great because it's stuff you don't think about especially in Farming Simulator. What we need is like a political wing to this game. Is that what we need? Political wing, red tape. We need a paperwork a paperwork tab. Don't forget to fill out this paperwork and that paperwork. Oh, we forgot about this law. Is that something we need in Farming Simulator 25? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> but anyways, great show. I have a little ode to that show coming up. Probably next episode, a little, a little shout out to the show. Next episode, something fun. So tune in for that. It has something to do with the horses. <laughs> no spoilers, though. I've only gotten... Uh, I'm on season two of it. I'm kind of making my way through it. But anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Whoa. So many stones. All right. Let's get this done. 
Polishing off the stones. Yes. It's nothing better than having a clean field. Clean field of st stones gone. Stones are gone. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Where's one? There's one. Where? There it is. I see it. I see it. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Look how bumpy this field is. I didn't realize how much, how rolling this field is. Look at that. That's cool. I think the stripes really accentuate that. Stripes accentuate bulginess. Bulginess. Just remember that for your fashion. That's your flash, fashion lesson from Rax Amelius today. Forgot real quick before we're sewing. Let's get this fertilization done. Uh, just need this uh, northerly field here. I just wanted to make these. Yep, I wanted to make these the same color. We need to have the same color going forward. Uh, so we'll be sewing next. But I will say... Real quick while we are doing this, I decided to go with sorghum. It's the safer choice because we have horses eat sorghum, pigs eat sorghum, chickens eat sorghum. It's just, and the other nice part is if we do run into a ton of sorghum, we can put it in lavish Lewis levigator, make flour out of it. So sorghum is just a safer choice. I'll probably do corn as a, as a pig feed if Next time, we're doing soybeans as a new crop this season, so we'll do corn as a new crop maybe next season. And who knows, maybe we'll get into a better planter as well. The only planter I have is that little cruddy one. So this is just going to be too easy to plant both fields of sorghum. I'll just go right up and down this field, and I will get rid of this road at some point. It might be next season. The road will get plowed in, and this will be one big field, and that will be... Amazing. Now that I think about it, the time to put the to get rid of that road might be once I start doing potatoes in this field, which shouldn't be too long. This is going to be one big potato field. That's that's the end goal with this field. So maybe that'll be a good time. I'll have to get the plow out after we do a potato harvest, anyways. So maybe that would be a good time to get rid of this middle road. I think that might time out well. I just like to have the option to do two different crop types because those pigs take a lot of different types of crops. <laughs> so I want to just save the option to uh, to make sure that we can do a couple different types of crops in this field just for now. Let's put down our partial width down one and finish off this field. And now it's going to... Oh, nope. <laughs> Bummer. I thought I could save... Thought I could save some fertilizer there. Apparently, I can't. That's all right. There we go. All right. What are we doing? Uh, let's get the uh, let's let's get the drill out, and we'll get some sorghum in these fields. Sorghum in these fields. As we're putting our sorghum in the field, a very very important topic has been brought to my attention that needs to be addressed. This word here. This word here is a variety of pig. And it has been brought to my attention that I have I have not been saying it right. The way I see that word, I say I see Brookshire. <laughs> that's that's the way I see. This is we're gonna come up with a new segment. We're gonna maybe I'll make a, like a whole graphic and everything. Probably not. Linguistics with with Rex Emilius. Linguistics with Rex Emilius. Uh, yeah. So apparently you. Don't pronounce this word Berkshire. This is a Berkshire. Wait, 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 wait. Now, now I got to look it up again. I didn't make sure that I say this right. Yes, that was right. Berkshire. So the way you pronounce that style pig is apparently Berkshire. I would like to thank Ray for bringing that up. Uh, I say that as a joke, and actually I do appreciate when I am not saying something correctly. Please throw it in the comments. I actually do appreciate it. I'm just having fun. But those are Berkshire pigs. And speaking of the Berkshire pigs, we're going to check in on them in just a little bit here once we're done sewing here. I'll probably fast forward through fast forward through rolling and uh, and weeding. Maybe we'll get started quick together. We'll, it'll be like a two-second deal. Rolling and weeding, and then these fields are going to be done. Let's look. Let's look. Yes. Yes. Look at that. Oh, man, clean blue beauties. Clean be blue beauties everywhere. There's little dots here. We'll take care of those as we as we can. 
But the, our fields are looking great. These are, I am really happy with the way this farm is shaping up. With all that grass on the field, all the silage we're making, they've got the pigs going, potatoes. I could not be more pleased with how this is going right now. Ooh, something else to talk about quick. On Facebook, I had a little idea. I'll bring that up first, and then I'll bring up the original comment I wanted to make. I was thinking, I think I said something already in an episode. Maybe I didn't. But I'm uh, I'm doing like a silver run map on my own, just kind of playing around with it. Because I want to get forestry down a little bit before we start our hobby here on this farm. And so I put a little thing on Facebook saying I had an idea, and this is a possibility maybe this week. And by the time you see this episode, it may have already happened, maybe not. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. I've talked about streaming. But maybe that's the good opportunity for streaming is maybe I'll do, I'll stream some Silver Run Forest, some of the map I'm just playing around with. It's like, it's not anything like this. It's just playing around. I have it on easy mode. Just wanted to get the cranes down and things like that. So I might... I might do that. I might stream that. But anyways, so the, the the reason I'm bringing this up is because I put a post on Facebook. I had a Facebook follower, Craig, ask if I was going to be doing any other maps. And so I want to thank for that question on Facebook. Here we go. Oh, links in the descriptions for Facebook and Discord if you want to join us there. Uh, like I've said in the past, I'd like to have discussions there and I'm trying to get some behind the scenes stuff going and Another question that would be good for like the Facebook group, but I didn't do it because it was too late of a, <laughs> of a thing, was whether or not to put corn or sorghum in this field here. For me, it's like a 50-50 thing, so that's a great thing for you guys to decide. So I like to try to do stuff like that, even though I didn't ask that question quite this time. But anyways, Craig's question. Am I going to do another map or anything? Right now, the answer is no. Everything is always going to be up for possibilities. And like I said, I'm maybe do that Silver Run Forest streaming. But right now, the, the plan is to just keep cranking away at Zilonka. I want to get as far as I can on this map. And I'm hoping that they announce Farming Simulator 25 at FarmCon, which is in July in Germany. I'm not going. I don't know anything about it, really. But I just know that there is a FarmCon. And that it's probably, I know that software companies like to announce stuff at big conventions like that. So I'm hoping they announce Farming Simulator 25 in July at that FarmCon. And if they do that, then it'll probably be released in November. So I'm going to work on this map until November. Those are the plans. Work on this map until November. And then when Farming Simulator 25 comes out, if it comes out, then I will start that up and figure out. I mean, it depends on what's in the game. Maybe there's going to be missions in the game. Maybe that would be fun to do some videos on. I don't know. Who knows? But we'll, we'll pass that when the time comes. But I just want to let you know kind of my plans going forward. As of right now, Zealanka is going to be the series. And I'm having so much fun with this. I want to get as far as I can doing all the productions and everything like that. So there you have it. Thanks for the question on Facebook, Craig. Like I said, if you want to join us on Facebook and Discord, then the link is in the description. And I do believe all the links work. If you tried it before and didn't work, I think they're all working now. If they don't, let me know. Let me know. Uh, also, comments on YouTube video on this video here would be fantastic as well. All right, I really got to pay attention here. Look how tight this is. One more pass. It's the, almost the perfect width. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. This, I love this this drill. This thing is great. This thing is great. Um, yeah, so let's see. What are we going to do? Let's finish this field. Oh, right at the end, there's a little bit of extra. Okay, let's back it up. Back it up. We're not going to miss this little piece right here. Can't miss this piece. There we go. Let's make sure it all gets drilled in there for maximum yield. We need maximum sorghum for basically everything on the farm. This farm runs on sorghum. This fun, or, oh, there's a piece. I can't wait to go. Wait, I can't wait to go look at them again. When we're done in this field, we'll go look. We got to go pay attention to the piggies. There we go. There we go. Yes. Everything is planted for the year. 
The only thing that we have to do is finish up those two fields with... Roll. Don't hit that car. Whoa. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Clarkson's Farm. Uh, he did that. I, <laughs> I'm loving that show. He just smashed his... Was it a cedar or was it a cultivator? I think it was a cultivator just smashed into a pole. How much is that stuff set up? I don't know. I bet there's some of that stuff is set up. Add extra drama. Add the extra drama. All right, let's do this. So we're going rolling and weeding. And then that's it. Then we're done planting for the year. We're done planting for the year. We get to work on our animals some more. And well, April, so next episode will be in May, probably. We got a... Uh, well, we for sure... Oh, no damage. Thank you. Uh, we have some horse stuff to do this month yet. Oh, uh, Twister... Twister, we gotta sell Twister off. She's, uh, Thelonious is gonna have another baby in May. So we need to sell Twister. Always a sad day, but they're going to good homes. They're going to good homes. Let's get this rolled up. You know, I, I was gonna just skip, not skip, but I was gonna skip rolling. I was gonna skip showing you the rolling. But I gotta say, I can't, I can't skip this with you guys. Is it, tell, tell me down below. What do you, is this one of your favorite things to do? This might be one of my favorites because it just cleans up the whole field, no matter how nasty it looks. Like all these stripes, all this little mulchy nastiness in there. If everything is fertilized uh, in the same manner, so there's not some light and dark spots in this after rolling. Oh, I love this. Just look at this. It just basically cleans up the field. You get the nice contrast between the green and the brown. It makes everything everything so crisp and clean. This might be oh, I, I, this might be my favorite part of the process. But I keep skipping it over with you guys. It's just like, okay, we got it in. Now let's just move on. I think this might be my favorite part. It makes it the perfect field. It makes it the perfect field. We're there, aren't we? I think we're there on this one. I think this one might be, this might be the perfect field. Oh yes, I think it might be. Let's let's see, let's get this rolling done. We gotta get the weeder on it. And we're gonna wrap this, wrap this field up for the year. Oh yes. Is there anything more beautiful in Farming Simulator than the perfect field? Is there anything more beautiful? Oh, I love this so much. I love it. That's not beautiful. That over there, grass clippings all over the place. That's what my yard's going to look like today. I got to mow the lawn. <laughs> grass clippings all over the place. Um, but this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Too bad you only see it for like a month. Not even a month. We'll see it a little bit next episode, maybe, but once we move on to May, it'll, the sorghum will start popping, the bright green sorghum. The last thing to do is the weeding. <sighs> the weeding may be the least satisfying thing to do in this game. It's super satisfying if the weeds are already there, but the way I do it, prepping the field like this, just get the weeding done right away and the weeds don't grow and that's that. It's done. But the problem is it's not satisfied. It's just like, it doesn't do anything to the ground. You can't see it. Oh, let's fold this up. But gotta be done. It's gotta be done. We're not gonna talk. We're not gonna show you too much of the weeding. I'll get you started with it. And we're gonna move on to piggies. I can't wait to go look at the piggies. I love looking at my piggies. Here's the start of the weeding. And here is the end of the weeding. Just a fantastic job. Just amazing. <laughs> so satisfying. I guess it's nice to see tire tracks that are straight. Kinda? Okay. Alright, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. After doing this weeding, you know what I need? I need some pigs. I need to go check out our pigs. To be honest... Um, well, first of all, that turn, that turn uh, let's go, let's turn the engine off. We'll just walk over there. We'll just walk over there. Yes. 100%. Yield bonus, 100% fertilized. No weeds. Ah, a job well done. A job well done. 
And we will reward ourselves by looking at the pigs. Uh, we do need to check. I said I was going to check the manure last time we were over here. And I didn't do it. So let's go check the manure so I don't forget again. And before we get distracted by the pigs. 1,700 liters of manure. Almost 1,800 liters. There it is. Mmm, beautiful manure. Again, I don't know. I haven't looked it up. I suppose I could look it up, but does 1,800 liters of manure equal 1,800 uh, liters of fertilizer? I don't know. Ah, there they are, the beauties, enjoying their potatoes and sorghum and barley mix. <laughs> Let's get in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh man, these guys are so awesome. There's the the bark shears. The bark shears. Hello. Are you a Berkshire or a Berkshire? What are you? What are you? <laughs> All right, let's look at the I, oh, <laughs> Going for a little sleepy with the wig. Oh yes, the wiggly tails. Oh. <laughs> I love these guys. I love them so much. Let's look at these here and Reproduction. I think we already looked at them today, to be honest. I got to be honest. All right. But it doesn't matter. We need to see them every episode. Every episode, we need to see pigs. Oh, not true, but we will this episode. 4,200 liters of slurry. That's like, if that is one-to-one -one with fertilizer, which I don't think it can be, we're sitting really good. We're sitting really good. We'll figure that out at some point. Oh, go, go, go. Run, run, piggy, run. Yes, yes. Ah, there we go. I've had my dose of pigs. I had my dose of pigs for the day. These guys are great. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna see you probably April second. Oh no 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 no. Let's do this real quick. I just wanted to show you the used gear because I'm gonna probably advance the day off screen. Uh, this guy is pretty cool. Someday maybe for our forestry hobby we will get that. But that's not a starting deal for us. We're gonna get a cart. How much is that cart? Do I, do I want to go down this rabbit hole, hole quick? This one and forestry technology. Forestry equipment. I think I want to get uh, this one. 18,000, but I need the crane. So that's uh, adds 21,000. So we're looking at 40,000 for this trailer here. And we can just use our current tractor. So we're going to save like a lot off of that other piece. <sighs> Anyways. There you go. All right, that's it. Now I'm talking. That's it. April 2nd, we'll be back. We got some horsing to do. Horse, horse, <sighs> horse stuff. And uh, yeah, and then I'm going to get contracts done. Things like that. Anyways, that's it. That's it. I hope you have a fantastic day. And we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>